Greetings, greetings, my beautiful, beautiful brothers and sisters. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm back. <laughs> it's your homie TT. How you doing? Y'all doing all right? How your day going? You know, y'all um, keep me in your prayers. I've been under the weather. Now, I, I can feel that I'm still fighting, but I'm pushing through. I don't know what hit me Wednesday, but it knocked me off my feet okay but we are here we are here and god is he healing he i can feel it working i can feel it working so let me pour into you because i know you gotta go and i gotta go too i've been having a lot of conversation with women especially married women and i've been scrolling on my social media page right and i've been seeing a lot of things about modern day husbands and wives okay so today I'm just going to share life on both parties. I just want to share my little piece. Is that okay? First of all, to you men that you are out there holding it down for your family, kudos to you, my brother. And for the women, whether you are single or married, and if you work in a full-time job and you taking care of them kids, them parents, God bless you, sister. So what I'm about to say, I'm not trying to bash nobody. I ain't here to bash. I'm just going to share a little love because, you know, TT love you. I really do. I really, really do. So let's talk about tradition. We're going to talk about the tradition marriage of a man and a woman. Okay. For the man. The man, your job back in the day was to provide. That's what you did. You went out and you worked. And you provided for your family. Okay. The women didn't work. We did not work. You know what our job was, ladies? We had to stay home. We had to take care of the kids. We had to cook. We had to, uh, we had to work. We had to do everything around the house. I mean, it was a 24-hour job without a break, but that's another story for another day. But that was our role. And we never had to worry about, as a woman, um, how the bills was going to get paid. Because that's not our pressure. Our pressure was take care of nothing get kids. And the man never had to worry about why, why the house is clean, or why this is not done, or why this is not done in the house. Because that was our job. So, man, let me ask you this question real quick. I'm just asking a question now. You ain't even got an answer, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So just take it in what I'm getting ready to say. Okay, let me ask you this. Are men still providing? Can you, with your income, can you, with your income, can you hold down your household without your wife's support? Okay, because nowadays the women, we have to work. We got to work full time. And whether you dare or not, Boo boo. We still got to provide and do all the stuff that I mentioned previously. Okay. Nowadays, I get that it takes two income. I get it. I really do. And I don't have nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind working to get to my coins. Okay. Let me put my little string back in there. I don't mind working to get to my coins. Okay. That's not the problem. Okay, modern day men, this is not the problem because we know we get the inflations and we get what's going on. It takes two. But the problem that I have, you know what the problem is, is that a lot of you men are thinking traditional when you are providing modern. Amen. Let me say that again. A lot of you men are providing, or were, were, you're thinking, I'm sorry, you thinking condition, condition, traditional, when you are providing modern. What you mean by that, Tish? Okay. So now we don't abide by the traditional rules, but a lot of you still look, you, 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 you still thinking tr traditional. And what I mean by that is, if your wife, your boo thing, your girl, your baby mama, whomever it is, y'all living together, right? And she got to work eight hours, just like you. She got to go out there and eat work eight hours just like you. How do you expect for her to have a hot cooked meal and a house to be spick and span? She is not a provider, just like you, boo-boo. She is not out of her role. But we get the circumstance that we are modern day. And because now that she is putting money into that house, just like you, and you need her help, and you need her assistance with them bills, <laughs> you need to help her around the house with them kids. Ain't no wrong with you picking up the washing dish. Ain't no wrong with you sweeping the floor. Because let me tell y'all, now this is real talk. This is this is real talk. A lot of these women, brothers, let me talk to y'all real quick. They are burnt out. They are depressed. They are sleep deprived. They, um, they are dealing with a lot of stress. And they right on the brink of leaving you. Because guess what? 
guess what? You got her working eight hours, coming home, cooking, doing homework, washing the kids, and then you want her to play house with you. She, I'm telling you, she about to leave you in a minute. It ain't nothing wrong with helping your mate out. I don't know who this for, but it is for somebody. And I keep hearing it. And I keep talking to a lot of women who are suffering and they're tired. And y'all sitting up there twirling your thumbs, twirling your thumbs and twinkling your toes. I don't even know how you do that, but that's what you're doing. So we gotta come together. We living in a modern day. You need her to help you with the bills. She need you to help you help around the house. Now, sis, if, 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 He's working and you stay at home, you know what you need to do. Now you need to take care of the house. Now you ain't get that. That ain't no excuse for you. Okay. But bro, if she working, help her out around the house. And I'm gonna leave y'all with this. I'm gonna get on up out of here because I, I can feel your energy. <laughs> Some of y'all looking at me like she done lost her mind. Keep God first in your marriage. Y'all pray for each other and pray together. Get connected. Have your own relationship with God. Pray daily. If you don't remember nothing else, I just say it. Pray daily and cover yourself. Okay? And I am only here to pour the tea of love, some of that inspiration, and motivation. Y'all be blessed. And y'all come and holler at me next week. Love you. And God loves you too. Bye. I'm blasting off.